So unlike a lion or tiger that might chase down its prey into exhaustion, these guys don't do a lot of running about. What they do is they sit and wait until they find um, a nice prey item that might just walk past them. So the types of things these guys go for, as I said, up to a one-ton buffalo, but usually something that's sort of deer-sized. Um, that's what they tend to go for. And what they do is they will just bite um, their prey, and that'll pretty much be all their work done. Because these guys have a mixture of bacteria and venom inside their mouth, which is very, very nasty stuff if you get bitten by one of these guys. So what it means is that that venom is obviously going to um, affect you, it's not going to make you feel very well at all, um, and the bacteria is going to make that wound um, slower to heal. But they also have something called anticoagulant in their saliva, and what that is, it's a very special substance that makes the blood a lot thinner. So essentially what happens to the prey is it will just bleed out. So it's not a very nice way to go. I think you'll agree with me on that one there. So that's all they have to do. You can flip that bite, follow their prey. Um, so this has been for up to 10 um, kilometers. It's quite registered to be walking about, let's say. It's not running. It sort of saves them a bit 